And is that why you do it? Because there actually is some utility in articulating things like I didn't fall head over heels in love with my baby the first time I saw her? I, I, I do think there's, there's therapy in the, the collective. I mean, it's interesting. Every one of these pieces we post and then we get, you know, dozens and dozens, sometimes hundreds of comments. And in the comments, there tend to be battles, you know, you know, I can't believe you breastfed in a moving car. You should be incarcerated. And then a whole other set of people saying, hey, take it easy. You know, this was an extreme situation. The baby was crying. They were bumper to bumper traffic. And I think in all the discussions and comments, there is therapy. I, I, I think parents are stressed out. Um, there are a lot of conflicting opinions today about what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Do you find comfort, listeners, in hearing about other people's bad parenting choices just because they make you feel superior or um, reinforced? 212-433-9692 or your own stories of doing things that others might judge as bad parenting but that you think need to be articulated for Rufus Griscom, author of uh, Dirt is Good for You, True Stories of Surviving Parenthood. What's the dirt is good for you? Well, we, we, we played with a lot of different titles, and I think the, the, the idea behind it is that um, I think the central thrust of the book is it's okay to relax a little more. You know, kids are not you know, so fragile that you do one thing wrong and, and they fall apart. And it, it's, it's hearkening back to the old days when you'd say, hey, let, let the kids run around in the yard. They eat a little sand on, on the beach or they you know, uh, eat a little dirt, and it's not the end of the world. It's, it's part of how they learn. If you're imperfect as a parent, that's probably part of your child becoming a, you know, a, a realistic and full human being. Have you ever not published an essay and called Child Protective Services instead? <laughs> we have, we've definitely turned down a lot of submissions at, because the, the truth is when you read this book and you read all these stories, very frequently the response is, oh, well, this parent isn't that bad. And invariably in every comment, in every piece, somebody, somebody says, this shouldn't be in the bad parent column because this is really a good parent who you know, had, a, had a humbling moment, At, to which we say, of course. I mean, we're, not, we're actually not going to publish anything that we think is genuinely you know, horrible. It's, it, this is about, it, it's really human, human parenting. Patty in Hackettstown, you're on WNYC. Hey, Patty, thanks for calling. I love your show. Thank you. um, I just wanted to tell you I am pregnant with my third son, and um, ever since my first, I, although I did breastfeed both of my first, I just I hated the experience, and and I I had glimmers of moments where it was sweet and special, and we were bonding, but I felt so guilty both times that uh, I just found it to be such a chore and it was so difficult and so time consuming and uh, there was really very little support out there. Everyone I asked about it would say, oh no, it's wonderful, you should keep doing it and don't quit and it was just not the most uh, pleasant experience I've had. Rufus, I have a feeling this is not the first time you've heard this. Breastfeeding is, is probably, is very close to the number one most controversial thing on Babbel.com and there's, there's very passionate feelings in both directions, and, and um, I'm not at all surprised you had that experience. Uh, and, you know, I think, I think um, you'll certainly – we actually have, believe it or not, on page 92 of the book, there's a story called The Not-So-Happy Accident. I wasn't totally happy. I turned up pregnant a third time and about not loving pregnancy, which is a little different from your experience. There's also people talking about the breastfeeding. Um, and, and I think, you know, um, there's, there's a very kind of – Ex- almost excessively passionate pro best breastfeeding movement out there that I think can make a lot of moms feel um, very bad about themselves, and and we think that's it's, it's a little extreme. 